EA won't do it, we'll do it ourselves. Welcome to the next step in the evolution of sports games. Welcome to NCAA 2K20. 36 of the best college basketball teams from around the country. Six conferences, all faithfully recreated by GA Sports, and now we begin the road to the Final Four. We start episode one in the beautiful Bahamas where four teams battle for supremacy. North Carolina, Gonzaga, Seton Hall, and Michigan are here in the most beautiful place on earth, and we're taking you straight to the action. Thank you so much for joining us this episode. Let's get started. First game of the season here in the Bahamas. It's the Battle for Atlantis kickoff, and today we've got Seton Hall and North Carolina going at it. And to me, I think this is probably the best way to start the season off. I, yeah, I'll agree that, with that. That's, that's a really <laughs> good way. <laughs> that's, that's a really good way for UNC to start their season off. So Exactly. Um, the game that we're going to see next in this episode, that was a good play, is going to be Gonzaga against Michigan. Um, and then the two winners are going to play each other in the finals, and the two losers will play each other in the third place game. So uh, four games total. Ooh. Yes, Ooh. first points of the day. Love that. I love that. Romero Gill. Fuck. Oh. Oh. Decided yeah, to back take that it out. out there. Oh, Gill driving. Romero Gill! Oh my gosh, Gil, Gil's a monster. Thus far, I Dude's already know that he's gonna he's gonna be tough to handle. Um, but they're gonna have to be able to score from the perimeter, um, and that's gonna be the the major question. Oh, uh, turnaround! I thought had it. End of the first <laughs> here, um, and of course, you know we, there are certain limitations with the way that we've constructed this. So we are in quarters uh, and not halves. But it's still going to work out okay. So um, yeah, and the scoring the might tier. seem a little bit low, it, but it it'll, it works its way out because we normalize the the stats, so we can get through some yes, games yeah. for you folks here. Yes, it'll still everything will work out the same. So you just you, you have to believe us that that it does work out this way. And you'll see, you'll see at the end of the tournament when we when we do our when we do our team of the week, you'll see how everything works out. Oh, what a oh, finish! And one. And wow. One. La Tech. Wow. Love that. Ooh. I did not think I was going to make that because that was uh, pretty quick. <laughs> and the ACC is such a good example of the fact that when we cut down the hundreds of college basketball teams to the top 36, what you're left with is every conference is so stacked. So the ACC has the likes of North Carolina, Duke, Florida State, Louisville, Oh, what just happened there? <laughs> I threw it off the backboard. <laughs> oh my gosh. I tried to throw it across court and I threw it off the backboard. And that's why, folks, you never see that in a real basketball game. You know what? But that's why you watch this series. You can only see stuff like that in this series. Beautiful <laughs> take from Obiagu. I think that's how you pronounce it. We cre oh, we've created so many teams here. Um, and we, we've done so many of them that I think we're bound to get a bunch of pronunciations wrong. And one again. And one again! Bang! Reset, we'll reset. Bang, that's it. That's just, that's poor defense. You gotta call, you gotta call a timeout after yeah, that. That's a 14 point lead in the game here. This is probably one of the better games I've played against you. <laughs> Personally. And we're talking ever. Cole Anthony. What do you like, what do you like so far about this Tar Heel squad? They, they are deep. You know, we talked about that earlier, and I want to touch on that again, having now play with them a little bit. They are deep. That's a nice move. Oh, oh he's got to finish deal. that. Yeah. They are very deep. I mean, I mean, a lot of that lead that just came out there was based on backups that I had. So right now, the mid-major conference is... Oh, God, that's a second straight turnover. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna oh, we're gonna need. Oh yam, yam on <laughs> We're gonna need the timeout after that. That was a that was disastrous. That dunk package is coming out. Pirates. Wow. Oh, I thought you were going up for that shot. <laughs> oh no. Beautiful steal. 
Oh, yeah, he with said, the rotation get out. block, beautiful. He said, get out. You won't. You're not going to. Yeah. We know you won't. Beautiful turnaround, Obiago. Oh. Yes. He's got six. He's him and Gil are the only reason I'm even still in this game, honestly. Oh my gosh, it's twice now. And the foul. I'll go to the line for that. Um, that's really gonna. Ooh. Oh, good steal. Damn. Did he take it all the way? Nope. Nope. <laughs> that was that's Torian Thompson not uh, not pulling his weight there defensively. What a name, Torian Thompson as well. True. True. Just gonna isolate. Nope. Nope. Oh nope. God. Block party. I mean, you got <laughs> oh, that down to was seven. not good. That was not. You got good. down to seven at this. I think seven. Did I see the score right? Nope, 13. My bad. 13. I lied. <laughs> I think we're going to let the big man take it up the court here. Oh, I should have. I should have done it to you there. Oh, get oh, he out. Said, Please. He said, get out. Evacuate the premises. Out. <laughs> Pretty much, we're going to be taking, you know, out of this four team tournament, we're going to be taking the best five players. The ones that, you know, put up the stats, get the boards, you know, kind of do it all. Um, oh, that's a good turn on the, the AI there. I like that. Um, just pretty much the guys the guys that do it all for us. Um, just going to try to run out the clock here. Um, Smart. And, yeah, you know, like, someone from this game, Cole Anthony, maybe not be looking at being in that team. Team of the week as he has four points and three assists. Um, based on my stats here, but you know, maybe his teammates could be on that too. So, mm -hmm. just uh, depends. I think, uh, really. I think Gil's an early shout that for one that out there. as well. Yep, Gil, Gil for sure is an early shout. Based on uh, what he's done offensively and defensively there. So, um, good first game there. 11 point victory. Yep, that's um, the game. Yeah. Good victory for North Carolina. Game two of the Battle for Atlantis kickoff. First game saw North Carolina absolutely trounce Seton Hall. 88-66 was the final there. So the winner of this will play the Tar Heels. Whoa! Oh, and then right, he we gotta, no, 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 no. We've got to stop this game. <laughs> that is not good. Whoa. That's not Gonzaga basketball. You know, I think I have three blocks already. Oh no! <laughs> oh, what has Four happened blocks. there, dude? Xavier Sampson, what is going on? He's and an animal hits, right oh, now. Oh my goodness! You know he could be making that team of the tournament just in this first quarter here. Yeah, need a Jai. Come on! Jai averaged about six points a game last season. Oh, oh my no. gosh! Everything I'm shooting goes. <laughs> All right, well, if you're just going to give me the lane open, a guy will take that. Yeah, jeez. Oh, I think that was Gilder, sorry. This is such an interesting Gonzaga team, the way that it's constructed because of how much scoring they lost last year. I mean, just to put it, just to put it this way, as a team, they averaged 89 points a game, and about 45 of those are, are gone from last season. Like, 40, 45 to 50 of them. Are, are gone from right. last season. So this is a this is a Bulldogs team that basically has to reinvent themselves. And I think they're gonna do that from the front court pretty much. And you can kind of see that at the D. beginning of the game here, the struggling to make uh, make baskets there was pretty evident. No oh. Oh. Struggling to make baskets there was pretty evident um, at the beginning of the game here, but it seems like they've kind of picked it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So the winner of this plays North Carolina. Which of these two teams do you think has the best shot against the Tar Heels after what we saw from them last game? Uh, neither. <laughs> <laughs> Tar, Heel Tar Heels were something else. I actually think if Michigan can play like they did in that first quarter, they probably Whoa. have the best chance. 
But if Gonzaga is playing like the way they do now, I think they're going to be very tough. No, I think North Carolina is going to have a tough time trying to um, score on them then if, the, if Gonzaga mm -hmm. plays like the way they're doing now. Oh, Beautiful steal. Just Great sloppy. Takeaway. There's the power forward. Run in the floor. Cow. Beautiful Both rebound. Kispert, yes. How did he not block it? He uh, had some fouls he picked up. Kispert for three. Oh, oh. wow. Uh, I have a feeling Gonzaga's three-point percentage is not going to be very good after this game, but it's a four-point lead at half. That's what matters. I was I was so pissed he was lighting me up. I didn't care to get his name right. <laughs> oh, look at this! Oh, that's an... What a performance! Is he going to go? He's going to go all the way and one. Oh no, that's not what we need. What a performance, Rizzy Baya. I don't know what the hell this guy's name Perfect. is. Perfect. Perfect thus far. Oh, you have got to be kidding me with yeah, this Yeah, John's got, John's got pulled for Wagner on that one there. That is... Oh, no. Oh, what? Take that right back. Beautiful pass. And he Samson throws it home. Here we go. That makes it double figures on the day. For this man... Riss, Rissi Baya, I believe is his name. Oh. Beautiful pass. Watson with a oh jumper. My gosh. This is Gonzaga ball right here. And what's more Gonzaga than an Eastern European guy you've never heard of stepping up in a big game? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Nothing's more Gonzaga than that. Yes. Oh my gosh, you just can't, can't miss anything. I think that's by a headed for team of the week right there. All right, Simpson back in. In an eight-point game here. Well, what's going on there? That was lovely. Nice assist there. Gonzaga bench Your outscoring bench Michigan scoring. by 13. Yeah. Uh-oh. That makes sense. This is Euro step Kisper, oh. and then he just gets sent home again. I should stop with that Euro step. That's all right, Kisper. With the three. Oh. Tried to put it right oh, in your eyes. Gosh. <clears throat> just lock down on Simpson at this point. Oh. Exactly. Just like that. You know what, Tilly? Just take it all away. Two handed flush. Gonzaga. Hanging on to an eight-point lead. Need this. Oh. Didn't get what he needed. That's probably going to be it then, folks. <clears throat> oh. Thought, thought he could get there, Simpson, but... Uh, you got to start fouling at this point. Yep. I don't know why he didn't foul him when he was in the paint there, but... Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> was... Gilder's a much better free throw was... shooter. I think we're setting up to see a Gonzaga-North Carolina final here in the Battle for Atlantis kickoff. We'll have that for you that next, is... by the way. Oh, Michigan, beautiful shot. And we'll have the final game of today's episode. Gonzaga, at least we assume at this point, Gonzaga versus North Carolina. I'll take a quick points there. What are you looking forward to in that matchup? Gonzaga versus uh, North Carolina? Yep. Well, it's an open three miss, so I'm not looking for that here. But <laughs> um, what I'm looking for in that game is if Gonzaga can play like this, it'll be interesting how Carolina matches up um, to Gonzaga there. Uh, with with their with their big man and then North Carolina shooting. If they shoot like they did in the other game, UNC's going to... They're going to run through them. But okay. okay. It's all for this one. All right. Well, I guess we'll see next. It's Gonzaga versus North Carolina. It's the final for the Battle for Atlantis kickoff. First tournament of the year. Gonzaga taking on North Carolina. Both of these teams won their opening games uh, pretty comfortably, I would say, for both of them. Um, and so now we get to see... Uh, the two teams that many believe will be two of the premier teams in the country, certainly two teams that are traditionally 
premier teams in the country. It's a good start for the Zags. Um, so we should probably mention the results of the third place game that happened earlier. Wow. All right. Good start. Good start. Um, that you didn't see, but it was an absolute cracker of a game as uh, Michigan took on Seton Hall. Seton Hall ends up winning 77-75 using a bit of a fourth quarter comeback. Xavier Simpson of Michigan puts up 34 points in that game. Wow. Wish he could put 34 points for me when I'm playing with him. <laughs> no way. That almost went into me. I almost just launched it up there. <laughs> yeah, that is that was, I mean, we saw a bit of it, and that was one heck of a performance from him. Uh, Simpson, you know, we'll probably make it in this team of the week. There is another tournament that coincides with that team of the week yep, um, yep. along with this one, but I would almost say the Simpson's a lock unless, you know, something crazy happens there. I, I, I would agree with you given his performance. Oh I'll take that. Oh, my gosh. I'll take that ball. Animation locks. No. <laughs> Uh, so, so just to remind you, team team of the week, it is a full calendar week, so it's not just team of the tournament. So it will encompass uh, the battle for Atlantis, which you're seeing in this episode. And then also we've got the ESPN Orlando Invitational, um, which starts this week. So some of the performances from that tournament will be included. But I agree with you. I think uh, I think Xavier Simpson's pretty much a lock after after his performance, despite the fact that Michigan oh is now 0-2. Good God. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I'm just going to put that out there. I feel slimy for making that. Now, Gonzaga against Michigan, they started pretty slow as well. Whoa, what is that? What a board. What an wow. absolute freak board. So North Carolina takes the lead in the second quarter, but it doesn't matter. Gonzaga, like we said, started pretty slow against Michigan. They came back with the help of the man that you are going to see in just one second. So this man, we got to talk about this man. I think his name is Zell Baya. Baya, last game against Michigan, put up 24 points. The walk-on put up 24 points in a win. Beautiful pass. Petrus and then he gets blocked. Petrusev, what are you doing? We need we need Baya in this game. We need some more. We need some more Baya action. Bit of defensive slugfest here. No, what are you doing, yeah. Gilder? Oh, well, no. Animation cheese. That's what's yeah, happening. Yeah, that is animation. some serious animation cheese. Now we're even there. I don't know if that phrase exists, but it, it does now. <laughs> He's just trying to slam it. How did... <laughs> oh, what has happened there? You just slammed it against his foot, and somehow you get the ball back. Bang. Oh. Um. <laughs> Yeah, not big scoring quarter of the game here. Yep. Ball. Gilder, though. Beautiful jump shot. He's a gold catch and shoot guy. Oh, wow. That Good take. Is that Anthony again? Work. Yeah, it is Anthony. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Turnaround oh, jumper from Tilly. Face. That was a that was a risky move to try to try to turn around right there. A little three sixty. Oh, what a no rebound for no reason. <laughs> Two offensive boards. Dang. Three offensive boards, and then a block oh! from Tilly. Please leave this out. Leave this establishment sent. immediately. There's a lot of North Carolina fans here in the Bahamas. There are. Must be that uh, big school money to bring them out, you know. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. I would love, I would love to be a, uh, a oh. college basketball player around these types of tournaments. A low-scoring game here at halftime. Ten-point lead for the Tar Heels. Nineteen percent shooting for the Zags. 19%. Yikes. Nineteen percent. There's so many cool tournaments that we're going to have coming up this season. We've got one in the Bahamas. Of course, we've got a tournament in Maui coming up featuring the likes of UCLA and Kansas. 
um, tournament in Orlando. I mean, there's there's all kinds of cool stuff that we've got coming up. Beautiful pass. Gilder, that was absolutely 100% a travel. That was a 1,000% a travel. <laughs> I'll take it, but it was absolutely a travel. How does he still have the ball? Oh, <laughs> you know, I'll take that for the makeup of the travel. <laughs> All right, fair enough, fair enough. So we've increased our shooting to 26% here. Neither of these teams shooting very well, though. All right, well, another interesting little wrinkle here is that we've gone to the NBA jump ball rules. This is the first time we've seen it. Tim wins that pretty easily. Yeah, no, no possession arrow here. They couldn't afford one. <laughs> they couldn't afford a possession arrow, so they've gone to the... We've gone to the NBA. Our boy Bio's back in. Yet to score a point today, but that's all right. We need him now. Oh, yeah, he said no. Like he'll just, oh, he said no. no again. Oh, he said no. no. Again. Oh, what a rebound from Lou Brooks. Unbelievable. Lou Brooks. The bounce on that kid there, the walk on. Our in game walk on. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take that from Bayer, oh. and he misses the layup! It is not by the game today. Oh, wow. Well, That's Gonzaga a tough call can there. make it a one possession game going into the fourth. You know, this is this is shaping up to be the lowest scoring game that we've had uh, in this tournament, but I think some of it is due to these teams not shooting very well, but great defense being played on both sides, I, I think. I agree. Definitely, I think the defense, defense is a, uh, it's been something else here. And Just he loses kills. the ball! Um, oh. 0.3 seconds left, Tar Heels ball. We're going to try something here. If you score here, I will give you $100. <laughs> tough, 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 tough. <laughs> Looking ahead, Gilder. With the drive, I'll no take the way. foul. No I'll take the way. foul. You're helping them, refs. Unreal. Oh, that was not good. Gilder's an excellent free throw shooter as well. I'm not helping myself at all. Goes 0 for 2 oh, from the line. Someone, someone. Cole Anthony's Beautiful. like six foot tall. What are you doing? <laughs> he gets that rim and finishes his dinner, man. It's just uh, other guys. No, on, not that he was bad. He played a little better. Oh! Oh! oh. You gotta, you the gotta set. take your hat off to that. Wow. Helped to make a layup to or a free throw as well, but. Petrusev, man, gang exposed this tournament. <gasps> Interesting <laughs> call. Exposed rush right there. Oh. Corner. Beautiful oh. job, Petrusev. <laughs> Sick. Builder just taking it straight no to the hole. I'm inside of his eyes there. No way. Petrusev, you need to have that. You need to have these. Just, just, I don't, I don't even want Patrice have to take any more shots. <laughs> Good pass. Kispert. And no. one, come on. Oh. No. But Cubs got three no now. No way. Four, four, actually. He's got four? Yeah, he's got four. Got to be careful. And my other him. center has four as well. So, <laughs> I could be out of centers <laughs> here, which is placed right into your hands, so. All right, to make it a one possession, and he does. Tar Heels with the timeout. Minute think 15 about this. left. It's a three-point game. Cole, Cole Anthony's coming out. Anthony out, beautiful oh, steal. That's not weak. Love that. Here comes a giant with the Euro. A giant with the finish. It's a one point game. How about that? Yes, How yes, we love it. Going? We love that. Here's Baya, the MVP of last game. And he gets fouled. Oh Not a good gosh. foul with 50 seconds left. Oh, no. Hey, <laughs> you got to tie this up. You got to tie this maybe, up. You're so good. good. Maybe it's a good foul. Maybe it's a good foul. <laughs> no. We'll take that. Tie ball game. Still a low scoring affair here. North Carolina, you can go two for one here. We'll see. We'll see what the Tar Heels decide to do. I'll just work it inside. Baya getting Please. exposed. 
And we gotta take that timeout. Cole Anthony is back in. Oh, <laughs> getting, getting a little close there. It needs two. Oh, get over, get over, get over, get over. Love that from Tilly. I saw, exact, I saw what you were doing the entire time there, and it <laughs> wouldn't let me do anything about it. North Carolina can hold for the last shot with a tie ball game. I can't believe you got that pass off. I knew what you were doing off the off the ball screen. <laughs> love that. Gotta call that timeout. Yep, love that. Eight seconds to tie the ball game. <laughs> we're going with that walk on Brooks in this situation here. Okay. He's come right. on to the court. I've got eight seconds. Only needed two to tie. Taking it down low, no, Tilly, no, he gets rejected, and that's the game, that's it. That's no, the game. Oh. North Carolina oh, wow. wins it. Unbelievable, two I couldn't believe points. I got two blocks off there. The Tar Heels are battle for Atlantis champions, what a game. How many blocks did my team have? Garrison what Brooks, a game. three blocks. You'll love to see that. You know who had that last block there? <laughs> Lou Brooks. Yeah, I bet it. Walk on <laughs> Lou Brooks, my guy. <laughs> love to see it.